Hello friends today I tell you about information of light first of all please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more interesting videos like this. So let's start it. The first true measurement of the speed of light came in 1676 by a fellow named Ole Romer the speed of light in vacuum, commonly denoted C, is a universal physical constant important in many areas of physics. Its exact value is defined as 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, 186,000 miles per second. Note 3. It is exact because by international agreement a meter is defined as the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1,299,792,458 second. Note 4 3. According to special relativity, C is the upper limit for the speed at which conventional matter and information can travel. Though this speed is most commonly associated with light, it is also the speed at which all massless particles and field perturbations travel in vacuum, including electromagnetic radiation and gravitational waves. Such particles and waves travel at C regardless of the motion of the source or the inertial reference frame of the observer. Particles with non-zero rest mass can approach C, but can never actually reach it. In the special and general theories of relativity, C interrelates space and time, and also appears in the famous equation of mass-energy equivalence E equals mc2. 4. The speed at which light propagates through transparent materials, such as glass or air, is less than C. Similarly, the speed of electromagnetic waves in wire cables is slower than C. The ratio between C and the speed V at which light travels in a material is called the refractive index N of the material N equals C, V. For example, for visible light the refractive index of glass is typically around 1.5, meaning that light in glass travels at C, 1.5 approximately equals 200,000 km per second, 124,000 miles per second, the refractive index of air for visible light is about 1.0003, so the speed of light in air is about 299,700 km per second, 186,220 miles per second, which is is about 90 km per second, 56 miles per second, slower than C. For many practical purposes, light and other electromagnetic waves will appear to propagate instantaneously, but for long distances and very sensitive measurements, their finite speed has noticeable effects. In communicating with distant space probes, it can take minutes to hours for a message to get from Earth to the spacecraft, or vice versa. The light seen from stars left them many years ago, allowing the study of the history of the universe by looking at distant objects. The finite speed of light also limits the theoretical maximum speed of computers, since information must be sent within the computer from chip to chip. The speed of light can be used with time of flight measurements to measure large distances to high precision. Thanks for watching.